My name's Nick Webb and I'm talking today on behalf of my co-authors Alex Buchanan, James Hilson, J.R. Peterson and Sarah Duffy. Today we're going to speak about the documentation and analysis of a medieval tracing floor. Our wider project focuses on the use of laser scanning to survey Gothic bogs in England and how we can use this data to better understand these designs. However, we also need to explore the drawing tools that the medieval masons used. One of these being the tracing floor, which was a plaster surface where the masons could inscribe lines and arcs to test their designs at a one to one scale. A 15th century tracing floor is situated in the roof space above the north porch of Wells Cathedral. This is an extremely rare survival in European architecture. For this paper, we first wanted to explore the best methods of digitally capturing the floor itself. Previous scholarship, particularly that of Arnold Pacey, has suggested that the tracing floor includes on its surface a design for the cloister vaults below. The mesh model you can see to the right is from the cloister's east walk. Therefore, we can compare our digital survey of the 2D tracing floor with our 3D tracings of the built vault to look for correlations between the two. To survey the tracing floor, we first looked at photogrammetry. This involved taking hundreds of photos from different angles. These were then processed using Agisoft Metashape. Metashape produced a 3D point cloud model of the surface, which we could then extract a 2D ortho mosaic from, the results of which we can see here. The highlighted box on the right demonstrates the level of detail that we could achieve. The second method we tested was reflectance transformation imaging. Here, a small area of the tracing floor is selected to study in detail. We can see this in the small red area on the left hand diagram. It's also visible in the photo to the right. We add reflective spheres to the scene to allow the RTI builder software to calculate shadows and reflectance. We position a camera looking vertically down at the target area shown in blue on the left hand diagram. A flash gun is placed at multiple positions to the same distance away from the target area. These are highlighted in yellow and white on the left hand diagram. The photographs taken of an identical area but with a different lighting angle are processed using RTI Builder. The result is a surface we can view in different ways, for example specular enhancement gives the floor a shiny and wet appearance where we can manipulate the light source in an attempt to better visualise lines and arcs that can be difficult to see by eye. We also tested laser scanning to survey the tracing floor, however this was less successful. We therefore digitally retraced the tracing floor primarily using the photogrammetry produced ortho mosaic and this was aided by images exported from the RTI process. James spent many hours tracing the lines and arcs of the floor, which you can see in the video here. The drawing on the right shows our initial results. Next, we moved on to the built fabric of the East Cloister to prepare it for comparison with the tracing floor. We surveyed the vaults with the Faro laser scanner and exported mesh models from this process into Rhino. Here we trace along the three-dimensional intrados lines, the outermost edge of each rib for the bay. We produced the tracings by taking section cuts through the mesh. These are then tidied and form a series of lines rather than a true curve. We therefore produce a best fit curve through this, which allows us to extract each rib's geometry, such as its radius. The result of the tracing is visible to the right of the slide. You can see here a 2D plan of the built vault, as well as a 3D wireframe version. The final stage of the project was to compare the 2D tracing of the floor with the 3D geometry of the vault itself. Here is shown our digital tracing of the tracing floor. And here it is again, this time zoomed in a little bit. In black we've highlighted the lines and arcs on the tracing floor which we think correlate to the East Cloister Vault. What we see is a quarter plan of the bay with the arc of a transverse rib projecting up from it. Finally, overlaid in gold, we've added the 2D projections from the trace 3D model of the built cloister vault itself. Both the quarter plan as well as the transverse ribbon elevation are shown. 
what we see is a very close alignment which supports Pacey's previous observations. To summarise, photogrammetry proved to be the best method for us to capture the tracing flaw, and RTI was useful at studying specific details. In future, we wish to explore different laser scanning methods for large surfaces, as well as investigating machine learning and pattern recognition as potential methods of automating the slow process of manually tracing 2D flaws as well as 3D volts. We're keen to look for other matches between the tracing floor at Wells and the built cathedral architecture. We have a scan of the entire east end of the cathedral for this. We also hope to extend our digital surveying and analysis of tracing floors to additional sites. Thanks for listening. Our project's funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council here in the UK, and you can find out more about our project using our web address that's shown here. We have a biannual newsletter. You can subscribe to it using the QR code on the screen. Uh, please get in touch if you have any questions, and we look forward to seeing ECADE colleagues in the future.